Well, everybody, we have made it to Mount Rushmore. Well, good early afternoon. Stopped to get some coffee and some freshly made sandwiches. I got a lunch sandwich, Brittany got a breakfast sandwich. Here's my breakfast, I got a burrito. Neil's is a Monte Cristo, which is actually my favorite lunch sandwich ever. And uh, of course he's going in for the pickle first. <laughs> Everybody, we have made it to Mount Rushmore. So this is pretty spectacular. And you see the photos, but there's something about seeing it in person. And we're gonna get a little closer because we're doing the presidential trail. You are here. We're going to here. Going in a cave. and 25 steps. Let's do it. It's actually not that bad. It's only a few steps at a time for the most part. Yeah. But I don't know if you guys probably can't see it. Oh yeah I guess you can. Walking right along the president's faces. Not right along. I wish we could go up there but you know <laughs> stupid people would damage them. And if you're not familiar, it is Abraham Lincoln, Thomas Jefferson, Teddy, Theodore Roosevelt, and... Abraham Lincoln. Honest Abe. <laughs> Well, good morning, everybody. So it's been a few days since we've seen you all, since we were out Mount, Mount Rushmore, but we are currently just outside Custer State Park. So we spent the last few days at Larson's Crooked Creek RV Resort, about nine miles from Mount Rushmore. And our friend Pascal is actually one of the owners. So we got to enjoy that, all the amenities. They have cabins, a lodge, Tons of deluxe uh, RV sites pull through back up right to the creek with decks. It's located right on the Mickelson Trail. So if you're into bike riding, you know, you have that right there. And then of course, this is ATV side-by-side -side country. You can drive them right on the roads. It's really cool. So they uh, they put a lot of work 
you know, a lot of work. blood, sweat, and tears into <laughs> that place, and it is phenomenal. It is uh, just absolutely huge and only growing. They've actually have a huge expansion planned. So if you guys are interested in coming and visiting Mount Rushmore, spending some time in the Black Hills, we're gonna put links uh, down below to that resort, Crooked Creek, because it is phenomenal. It's hands down, not just because it's one of our friends that's the owner, but it's hands down one of the, the best uh, RV resorts we've ever stayed at. And what kind of takes it over the top besides the scenery, you know, the beautiful creek, the awesome uh, like decks overlooking the creek, uh, tree house that they have. Mm -hmm. they, it's just, it's phenomenal. Like a two story tree house uh, that two families can rent and, you know, kind of park their RVs on each side, full kitchen there, everything. The bathroom. <laughs> it's pretty nuts. Uh, so they've built that all up in the last uh, four or five years and really have made it one of the premier RV resorts in the hills and like we said they're full service so they actually will come pick up your garbage right at your site deliver you hot fresh pizza at your site that they make up at their uh, big industrial kitchen that they have they have a gym I mean it's it's pretty legit a couple bath houses uh, brand new one of them they just completely redid it's beautiful so if you're looking for uh, you know a few day to a week stay check out the area you know check out Custer Mount Rushmore there's a lot to crazy see crazy horse you know the town of Custer mm -hmm. Hill City I mean it's it's a prime location and you won't be let down I can promise you that so we're just before Custer State Park and we saw this historical site so we pulled over and they have some uh, pit toilets behind us and we're gonna dump our cassette in because I was an idiot and forgot to dump it at the campground uh, filling water taking showers you know things like that kind of slipped my mind this morning so that's convenient to having a cassette toilet <laughs> for all you cassette toilet haters <laughs> find a pit toilet or a rest stop and dump it there you know, just be careful, clean them up after yourself, you know, that kind of thing, if you make a, a little bit of a mess. But once you get experienced, you won't make a mess. So this right here is actually, actually the Mickelson Trail. And I believe our friend Pascal told us that this trail, it goes right behind their campground. Uh, you have access to it there. But it actually goes from it goes Deadwood, to Deadwood. Yeah. all the way, and we're down here at the entrance of Custer. And I think this might be where it ends, actually. <laughs> so... Yeah, because this is the sign right here. Um, so, if you're into biking, e-bikes, or if you know you need a good e-bike, when you show up at their RV resort, they are selling some very good e-bikes. Uh, it's a yeah, 109 mile trail, and you can uh, take this all the way up to Deadwood, where we stayed just previously. So we were actually wrong. It goes from Deadwood. We're here in the middle, and it actually goes all the way down to Edgemont. So. That's insane, 109 mile long trail. And we have seen at this point hundreds over the last few days of e-bikes, regular bikes, mountain bikes, you know, street bikes, whatever, uh, road bikes, I guess is what you call them. And uh, people just enjoying going down the trail. So definitely, I recommend coming here and spending like four or five days at least, hitting up the trails, all the awesome history, Mount Rushmore, Hustler State Park to see some bison that type of thing but we're gonna check out this fort and then we're gonna get in and see if we can have an experience with some bison but remember do not pet the bison <laughs> so this is pretty cool this is just an old fort and these are original cabins it looks like because store cabins please keep out and if you look at the uh, condition these are definitely original and you can smell it too very musky so this is where you'd come and uh, I guess stay and live try to stay warm in the uh, cold winters of South Dakota but pretty cool uh, definitely a little bit of history right here these pretty tall walls and this very thick door to uh, obviously protect from anybody trying to invade or come in. Brittany just found it's called the Gordon Stockade Historical Landmark. Pretty cool. Just sitting out here outside of the entrance to Custer. Mm -hmm. Has some bathrooms, good little stop. 
It's pretty. See a little history, original cabins in there. Some of them, about half of them are. Those ones are the ones that are blocked off. So pretty cool. So our first scenic overlook. Not too shabby, huh? Look at that. Stopped at a horse crossing. <laughs> Look at them all. Oh, we got some fighting right here. You're the one with the cool mohawk. Oh, that's awesome. Got some friends in the road. <laughs> Just hanging out. Muna says she found the bison. <laughs> About to leave Already packing Come with me I'm not really asking We'll get away To a place where we don't know About to see 